It's a happy day, and I thank God for the weather. It's a happy day, and I'm living it for my Lord. It's a happy day, and things are going to get better. Living each day by the promises of God's Word. I have a surprise guest coming. Who's coming today, boys and girls? Hi, honey. Good morning. Am, am I here with you, hon, or am I talking you, to you? You are with Kathy Poyer. No, I meant, am I in the same room with you, or am I looking at you? No, we're doing Skype. You and I are Skyping. Oh, I was, I don't know how things work. <laughs> Do you have any words of wisdom out there for, let's see, Kathy Poyer? Uh, Look who's on right now. Oh, here's the dog. And there's Stuart Heising's I, on I can't and Rana. see my glasses. I know. There's Ken Hi, gang. and Rana. Oh, okay. things are all hell's breaking loose. My dog just came in. Dog, get down, yeah, get please. Come on, come on, come on. I'm trying to hide in Audrey's room because I can't. Okay, we take those dogs out. Sure, no, just that dog. Okay. Thanks, babe. She'll, she'll it's okay. Okay. Good morning, guys. I I had to do a quick run in here because um, they're doing construction out back, and I got all set up with my flowers and my candle, and then th that happened. Someone start hammering. Okay, so I'm going to start right now. If you guys could uh, just uncross your legs, put your feet on the ground, and just feel um, how you are supported um, by the earth without having to do anything that it holds you and keeps you grounded. Um, and if you take three breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth, in through your nose, and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. I like to start that way because I'm have a little bit of high energy and um, getting grounded. Just focusing on your breath is an easy way to connect you to the present moment. Here's what I want to talk about today. These two words, grace and ease. And Really how we are supposed to be experiencing life is moving with grace and ease. And when you are moving with grace and ease, you are at peace with what is, and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, and life feels good. Um, what I want us to focus on or to look at today is, think about things in life where you get stressed out. Every time I move, the thing shakes, but that's just my daughter's bed, because she didn't get a really great mattress. That's why I don't sleep in here. No. Anyway, sorry if it's shaky a little bit, but um, what I've been noticing with my being mindful is my body, that our bodies are really great, a great asset for us and a great ally because our bodies tell us really clearly when we're in line with what we're supposed to be doing or when we are out of line and you'll get anxious or stressed out or things will feel hard. That's your body saying, maybe you shouldn't be doing this. But so often we push through and fight through and it hurts our body and we're not happy. So think today about grace and ease. And I'm going to give an example of this. So I've been doing stand-up comedy because I was went to see my husband once and somebody said, I was in the green room at Flappers in Burbank watching my getting ready to watch my husband. And there were two ladies in the, the green room and my husband wasn't there. I popped in to say hi. And I started talking and one of the ladies was like, you should do stand up. And I was like, yes, I should. And then she goes, well, if you ever do it, you can have a spot here. And she was the owner of the club, Barbara, just a lovely lady. And then we sat down to watch the show. The woman who opened for my husband, her name's Lisa Sunderstedt. I always say her last name wrong, but she does. Anyway, she opened for my husband and I was going, oh my gosh, she's so dang funny. I loved her. And the woman said, she teaches classes. You should take her class. And I was like, I'm going to. So I took her class and I started doing stand up. And it felt, well, my happiest is on stage with a microphone and a spotlight. I mean, come on, people just paid to see me. But then I realized like you have to actually write jokes and do stuff, you just can't stand up there and smile. So I took a class, I've been doing stand up. I just took a, an advanced class and I have my showcase tonight. But what was interesting was, I found myself really excited to do these live videos and really with grace and ease, even if there's construction outside or my dogs are barking or whatever the heck happens. It stills with grace and ease and I'm excited to do it. I'm excited to get on. So I know that this is something that's good for me and this is something that feeds me and it's happening easy 
I'm not overthinking it. I'm not getting stressed out. I'm not making it perfect. I'm doing it in the nail salon with the phone flipping around, whatever, because it's with grace and ease and it brings me joy. So this is something I should be doing. Now my stand up, I was getting stressed out before every class because I hadn't done my work. I was trying to do it in the last minute. Then I almost didn't want to go because I'm not doing my work and it was just, it was heavy and stressful. And then I remember in the last class, my teacher said, if you're not going out all the time and working your material and doing all this and blah, 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 like you have to put in the work. And then I got home and I thought, right now at this point in my life, this is not flowing with grace and ease. There's more stress wrapped around it than joy. And so I was being aware and being mindful that my body was stressed out. I'm not putting in the work and I kind of connected the dots going, this isn't the right time for me to be doing stand up because I'm doing a disservice to myself because I'm not all in and focused on it. And it's not fair, you know, whatever to go. People pay money and I do it half assed. So anyway, that's it. Just the simplicity of thinking about moving through your day, moving through your moments, moving through your life with grace and ease. Be aware of your body and how it feels. And if something feels stressful, there's a reason it feels stressful. If something feels, if you're at a job and you freaking hate it, be aware that you hate it. You're hurting your body staying in it. So you can start thinking, what's my game plan to find something that brings me more joy? We don't have to sit down in life. We don't have to throw in the towel. We don't have to be miserable. That's a choice. Now, if you're going to get mad and go, I hate my job, but I can't leave it. What am I supposed to do? I have to pay my bills? Private message me and I'll talk to you about it and help you with the step-by-step -step game plan. Because no matter what your story is that you're thinking is holding you in place, you can still move it. You can crush that story and blow it away. Um, so anyway... I'm using my body and my feelings and my emotions and all those things as a guide in my life of where I should be going and what I should be doing. If it's with grace and ease like these videos that I love, I'm in line with what I should be doing and I'm happy and it's filling me. The stand-up was stressful. I told my teacher after the showcase I'm going to take a break because I want to focus on this kind of stuff and that when I'm spreading myself thin or giving attention to things that don't fill me and excite me and feel good in my body, I'm going to set those things aside and I'm going to, whatever you give attention to grows. I'm going to give more attention to this stuff that I like. So Eckhart Tolle's quote is, to offer no resistance to life is to be in a state of grace, ease, and lightness. To offer no resistance. If you're feeling resistance, listen to it. Honor your body. It's helping you navigate life. When it's stressed out and feels bad, make a new path to walk down. Find a new thing. And if you need help and you feel really stuck, I'd be happy to help you for real. You can direct message me and I'll give you a little game plan. So I'm going to do a quick prayer. God, we are grateful for our bodies. We are grateful that we get clues from it that say, this feels great. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Or I feel stressed out and my body hurts. Thank you for our bodies. Let us use them and connect to them and hear what they're trying to teach us and, and how they're trying to guide us. Um, I thank you for the time I had with stand up and know that I'm, I have that tool that I can revisit any time. But right now it's not serving me to be doing that. Um, thank you for this beautiful opportunity with these beautiful people to um, be more mindful and to be living more in the moment of my life so I'm not missing it. Um, I thank you for my friends that I hung out with last night in the school that threw us a little party. And may we be blessed today on Sunday. And may we do something kind for ourselves today. And honor our body in a new way as a compass how we should navigate life. Amen. Okay, I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm.